my experience of the success of the first film was surprise and relief. You know, I think we really felt like we believed in ourselves and we knew the movie that we were trying to make. I remember him texting me and the numbers were just going up and up and up after the Friday, the Saturday. It was just amazing. So, you know, it's always nice to be a part of success. It doesn't always happen in life. Um, so we, it was really fun for us. We're just appreciating it. It was really mostly Robert and John and the Marvel guys brainstorming about the you know, what are going to be the kind of overriding themes and what are the, uh, what are the action sequences and, and then, um, and then we, as we got closer to filming, we started to figure out more the nuances and the, the relationships, what they would be like. And we did a lot of rehearsing. We talked a lot about the scenes and the characters and how it would all be. And, um, it was, uh, it was a very collaborative process, at least my scenes anyway. You know, we improvised most of our scenes the, the day we did them. And I play Pepper Potts, and Pepper Potts is Tony Stark's sort of long-suffering girl Friday. She organizes his life. She's his pro professional or, or executive and personal assistant. She handles all aspects of Stark Industries and, you know, his dry cleaning, everything. Um, but they also have a, a certain connection. They've got a lot of chemistry between them, and you sometimes sense that they have the potential to be more than uh, just colleagues. And, you know, the truth is they, they have a lot of love for each other, and so it's a fun dynamic to, to play and explore. Well, in Iron Man 2, Pepper, Pepper gets a lot, uh, a lot more on her plate um, professionally. And, um, and so in that respect, she's still trying to handle Tony Stark, but from the perspective of almost being his boss and um, trying to keep him in line for the shareholders. Um, so things change a lot. You know, she, of course, she still loves him and she still wants the best for him, but she has a bigger responsibility in this movie. I think the reason that Tony Stark is so appealing is because he's flawed. You know, he's, he's funny and he's kind of a disaster, but he's always trying to improve himself. He's brilliant. He's a superhero. And, but he has that duality of, you know, that we all, I think, feel of. Uh, I'm not so great, but I am great, and you know he. It's interesting to watch him struggle with with that, and and on his course to to become a better man. Tony and Pepper have a very you know it's a it's it's an it's a complicated relationship because she's always trying to be his moral center, and she's always trying to bring him back to Earth. Um, and in this movie, her relationship with Rhodey is great because he's really her ally in a lot of ways, and they both really love him personally, but they're also trying to, you know, rein him in and, you know, because Rhodey's whole responsibility with him, with the military, you know, he's got a lot of balls in the air, and Tony Stark is a wild card, you know, so he, um, so it, Pepper, it's nice to have Pepper and Rhodey a little bit linked up, and they sort of have a common cause. She has a great, Scarlett has a great part. She plays a girl called Natalie at the beginning. She comes in, and we think she's just a sort of paralegal, and then she starts working with Tony, and then things are a bit mysterious. We don't know exactly who she is, but um, Pepper and Natalie kind of also sync up and in their, I don't want to say against Tony, but, um, you know, to serve his greater interests. Working with this group of actors was honestly one of the best experiences of my life. I mean, I love working with an ensemble cast. It's very refreshing. It's nice to have 
different people in every day and you know in that way it, it felt very fresh and mm -hmm. also to have the level of actors that John cast in this movie it was crazy I mean it was really um, you just felt so lucky, you know, and Don Cheadle is one of my favorite actors from years, you know, since Boogie Nights, I fell in love with him, and so I just felt so lucky. It was great. The, the second time around, the good thing about doing a film, again, is that you can refine things, you know, you know your character better, um, and you sort of know what, where they want to go more, and um, it's nice, you know, and John Favreau is very collaborative. We improvised almost all of our scenes, the actual dialogue. And, you know, he sort of would say to me, you know, Pepper, you, you tell me, like, what's right here? Because you know Pepper. So it was, you know, it was nice to be included in the process. Well, we hope that um, this movie will have the same kind of success that the last movie had. And just that, I mean, above the success, that people really enjoy the film and they have fun with it. And, you know, it's nice that we're kicking off the, the summer season with Iron Man 2.